Hey guys, how are you going? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to workout three of week two of the 30 day health kickstart. For today's workout, you're going to need to grab yourself some light dumbbells if you have them available. If not, you can just use some tin cans from the kitchen or even some water bottles of the same weight if you have them. If you don't have any of these, don't worry, you don't need the weights necessarily. You can just do it with your body weight. So just pop them to the side for now. Everything else is going to be the same as usual. You guys know what this is about. It's just about being consistent in moving your body and trying the best you can for this month of January. All right, we're going to start with a quick warm up. Two minutes, four different exercises, 30 seconds of each exercise. Nothing too crazy. And we're just going to start with some reverse lunges. So from here, chest up nice and high. Take a step back, lunge down, and then switch legs. So straight into our warm up. We're here for 30 seconds. As always, our warm-up is just an opportunity to get our body warm, to get our blood pumping around our body, and really just get our minds ready for the workout ahead. I know that I'm really looking forward to working out today, because it is cold here today, hence I've got a long sleeve top on. Even though I had the heating on all day, it's pretty chilly. So I'm just looking forward to warming up at least. All right, nice work. We've got a few more seconds here. Remember to keep that core nice and strong. Let's do one more on each leg. Last one, nice work. You're gonna to come to the end of your mat and we're gonna just go into some inchworms. So hands come down onto the floor. You're going to walk out into a high plank and then walk your hands back in. And we're just gonna do that for around 30 seconds. Now don't forget, try to minimize that side to side movement when you walk out. When you get to a plank position, nice strong plank, core strong and then walk back in again, minimizing that side to side movement. Nice work. Let's do two more. Nice and strong. Last one. Awesome work. All right, come out to a bit of your mat. Feet are gonna come out a little bit wider. Hands out towards the side of the room, twist your torso. Touch your left foot with your right fingers and then switch sides. If you need to bend your legs, that's absolutely fine. I do because of my injury, so I will be with you on that one. Try and get that top hand to reach up towards the ceiling. Nice. Good work. Nice twist in that torso, starting to warm up that midsection. Three seconds, two, and one. Awesome work. Final exercise, we're just gonna do some high knees. So, hands can come on your waist or down by the side. We're gonna step up one, two, three, and hold that knee, and then switch. One, two, three, should be the other knee. Now start to get this a little bit higher, so draw that knee in as high as possible towards your chest. Crunch your abs as you do it. So from the side, one, two, and three. Stick that and hold. One, two, stick and hold. Really that control, and to do that, you must have your core switched on. Three, you want to make this harder? Hands can come out in front of you. Three, four more. Nice work. All right guys, that's your warm-up complete. I will see you around here for round one in 30 seconds. Okay guys, and welcome to round one. We've got six different exercises, 30 seconds of each exercise with a five second rest in between. First we're gonna start in a plank position, so jump down into a high plank. From here, you're gonna push back, and then come forward into that plank. Let's go, we're here for 30 seconds. So you grip the floor nice and strong with those hands. When you come back, bend your legs, push back as far as you can, then spring forward, bring that chest nice and proud, core stays tight in that plank. Good work. Hands are going to be underneath your shoulders. We've got less than 10 seconds to go, so I'll just speed this up. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. 
straight up onto your feet. We're going into squat thrusters. So set yourself up in a squat position. We're going to come down and then you're going to push up with your hands. You don't need to use weight for this first round, but if you want to, you can grab those light dumbbells. Now all the regular squat cues apply. So feet in about hip distance, weight is in your heels. You're going to be nice and strong in your core, chest up nice and proud. Knees pushing out, trying to let them cave in. It comes with practice, so just keep going. And a bit of mobility work. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're going into wood choppers. So, you're going to grab onto your thumb. It's going to come up above your head on a diagonal. You're going to come across, crunch, touch your knee. So, really squeeze the core and then push back. And then start to make it even bigger and faster. Nice work. Try and get that nice twist and crunch across. Less than 10 seconds to go. Keep it going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Pick up your dumbbells if you have them. We're going into some flies. So, we're gonna hinge at the hip. Slightly bent knees, coming over, keeping everything else in alignment. Fly out, pull those shoulder blades together. Imagine you've got a one hand coin on your back and you want to squeeze it. Fly like a bird. So, arms coming out like this. Back's nice and strong. Head, neck, and spine all in alignment. Four, three, two, and one. Weights go down. We're going into wood choppers on the other side now. So, hand comes up. Let's go. Try to match the same number as reps of reps as you do on the other side. Can't speak. We've got 20 seconds left. Nice big squeeze across. Make that reach even bigger. Feels good. I'm starting to warm up now. Starting to feel as long as the top. <laughs> All right, eight seconds. We've got one more exercise after this, and then we've got a rest. Three, two, and one. And we're moving into plank shoulder taps. So come down to the ground. If you want the modified version, we're going to be here, tapping the shoulders. If not, let's go up on toes. So whatever you're doing, core stays nice and strong. But the main thing is minimizing any side to side movement. To do that, you're going to switch on your core. Nice and strong, control the movement. Keep your chest nice and proud. And don't forget to breathe. We've got a rest coming in five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Round one done. I will see you back here for round two. Hey guys, and welcome back to round two of our workout. We're going to start with our plank pushbacks. So you're going to head down into a high plank position. And we're ready to go. 30 seconds here. Let's go. Now make sure you keep everything switched on. So you want your glutes, your quads, your core, your shoulders, your arms, even your hands gripping the ground. Everything as strong as possible. When you get to that plank, you're nice and strong, chest nice and proud. We've got 10 seconds to go. Keep it up, come on, let's speed this up a little bit. Good work. A few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Straight up onto your feet, we're going into our squat thrusters. Grab your weights if you have them. Set yourself up. Let's go. So come down, breathe out, weights come up. Nice work. Everything else remains the same. Knees pushing out, trapping over your toes, sitting back, chest up nice and high. Good. You don't need the weights if you want to get rid of them. Totally fine, just use your hands. It's still just enough. Five seconds to go. Four, three, one more, two, and one. Weights go down. Wood choppers. Hand up towards the left. And let's go, chop across. Make it nice and big. Crunch the core in between. 
Breathe out when you come in. Good. Nice work. Testing your balance as well here. Halfway there. Nice work. I'm definitely warmed up now. Feeling this t-shirt. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pick up those weights. Going into flies. So, soft knees, hinge at the hip. Arms are going to fly out. Think that you have a broom pole coming down your spine all the way out to the top of your head and you want to keep it there. So to do that you have to have your neck, your head, your spine all lined up. Control your arms, fly out, hold and then back down. Good, five seconds. Three, two and one. Wait to go down. Wood choppers on the other side this time. So hook your thumb. Let's go. Use your breath. Once you start to use that as a tool, it will really help, really help you like revitalize, have more energy and control. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. Nice work. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is the last exercise, a bit of rest. Planks and shoulder taps. So, if you're here, I'm here with you, modified. Everything else still stands. Core switched on, minimizing that side to side movement. If you want to try coming up onto your toes and then you need to drop down to your knees, there is no shame in that. Just do what you can do. Look for that little bit of progress every time you come back to this workout. Nice work. Come on. Eight seconds. You've got this. Chest pride. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. Go have some water. I'll see you back here for round three. All right guys, welcome back to the final round. You guys know what we're doing, so let's just get on with it, get this done. Jump into that five position. Let's make this the best round yet. I'm gonna push back, come forward. I'm not gonna speak as much in this round as you guys know what you're doing. It's just time to finish this off right. Let's go. Use this as a bit of a rest. 
Two more exercises to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go down. We're choppers on the other side this time. Hand comes up, let's go. Come on, nice and strong. Start to speed this up now. Good work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Last exercise, shoulder tap. Try and challenge yourself up on this toes if possible. Let's go, 30 seconds. This is it, last exercise to go. Awesome work today, guys. Thank you so much for showing up. I will see you for week three. Have a great weekend.